Good afternoon, everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. Back at you again today. Today, I'm going to show you this 1969 Plymouth Satellite Convertible. Now, this car is green on green. I do have pictures on my website here with the top up, as you can see on my website. This car has a black top. The top is in amazing condition. I just put the top down to do my video and I got some pictures with the top down. It has a power top and the top works flawlessly. The boot is included. It does need to be stretched out a little bit. Um, this car is a rust free California car. Um, it was brought to the Midwest around 10 years ago and obviously never been driven in the uh, bad weather. So this car is very, very solid. It does have a numbers matching 383 engine and a 727 torque flight automatic transmission. I'm going to walk around this car and show you a few things about it. It is, like I say, a Plymouth satellite convertible, as you can see. This car has a set of uh, American Racing torque thrust wheels on it. Um, it has 17 inch wheels in the front and it has 18 inch wheels in the back probably 17 by 7s in the front and 18 by 8s in the back gives it that nice stance it looks great the body and paint on this car are very very nice um, you know this isn't a hundred thousand dollar car we're gonna price this car somewhere in the 40s um, <clears throat> this car is a very very nice driving car I bought this car from a gentleman um, and I drove this car oh, around 100 miles um, total and it had no issues, no problems with this car. Runs and drives very well. It is a fun car to drive. I put the top down on it and drove it. Very, very fun car. <clears throat> if you're looking for a car for summer fun, then here it is. And we do have... Um, the build sheet for this car. Um, I think I had two copies of that. I'll have to double check my files. Um, just like I say, a great car. Um, drives down the road very, very nicely. Uh, it, there's the interior in this car. Kind of two-tone green interior. It's a bucket seat car, a council. Automatic on the floor, as you can see. This car has power steering as well as power brakes. It is a sport satellite. <clears throat> I'm not sure of the production numbers on these cars, but I don't think a whole lot of sport satellite convertibles were built. You Mopar guys could probably tell me a little bit more about that. Um, I know a little bit about every car, but I never claim to know everything. I'm always open to learn, so if anybody has any comments, um, wants to tell me anything about this car that I might not know feel free to that would be great <clears throat> This car does have the factory black stripes on it <clears throat> down the hood. They are flat black and they look great Has power brakes like I said has power steering power brakes has disc brakes in the front drum brakes in the rear the Car has dual exhaust and it sounds really well <clears throat> Got your tips coming out the back there Inside the trunk is really solid in there as well. Um, underneath the car is very solid. I'll try to get some pictures of the underneath side of this car for you. It does have a little spot right here on the front fender um, where this chrome wheel well molding trim um, is cracked and it has a little scrape right here in the paint. Uh, if you turn that, if you turn this steering wheel all the way to the left, it does rub a little bit. I, I would think that maybe a guy might have to put a little bit smaller tire on the car. Um, we're just, I'm just being honest with you. It doesn't do it unless you turn the crank the wheel all the way and a lot of times you have to have the car like on a little bit of an angle and then once in a while it'll rub a little bit. But that's how we do things here at Kenyon Classic Cars. We're just honest and upfront with you about these cars. 
anything we know about them, we're going to tell you about. Uh, a great, great car. Um, like I say, super solid car. I'm going to start it up here for you in a second. Um, the one thing that we did to this car, and I, I, it has not, it's not working currently, is the fuel gauge. I replaced the sending unit in this car, and I had the dash cluster out and tried to have that repaired too. I don't know exactly what is going on with that right now, but we put the dash in it the other day, and that gas gauge is still hung over on empty. Um, this car is 41,000 miles, and the previous owner told us that those miles are believed to be actual. It does have an 8-track player there. Creedence Clearwater is uh, in there. <clears throat> it appears that this car was a factory air car. Now, that air conditioning is not hooked up right now. There's no AC compressor on this car, but it appears that it was, according to the dash, it was an air car. Your dome lights work there on your console. Your dome lights there in the back. Um, you open the door, and them dome lights work on the back as well. I'd say the car sounds great. Side marker lights work, your license plate light works, your tail lights work, that side marker light is working. The paint and body on this car looks really, really nice. This car is ready to go to any show, any cruising that you want to go to. There's your uh, bright headlights, all four of them are all lit up. Just a real pretty car. Um, has a little, little imperfection here in the paint, has a little chip. You can see that. You gotta be right up on it to really notice it. And it does have a couple little minor chips right here in the paint. One little one here. Really small at the end of a pencil maybe. One here. You gotta be right up close to that to see it. Um, but the car is very, very nice. an idea of the quality of the paint and the bodywork there. Very good car. It's got aluminum radiator in it. As I say, it's got uh, power steering and power brakes. I'll try to get a picture of that tag as well. Looks very good underneath the hood. Um, it's pretty much all stock original. It retains the original exhaust manifolds. Um, it's not all hot rodded, hopped up, anything like that. Just a nice cruising car. Hood shuts nice. Doors open and shut nice. Seals and stuff on this car are still in good shape. They're all still intact. There's the bottom of your doors. These door panels, a little, got a little, little wave on the bottom of them. That's just kind of seems to be standard operating procedure on these cars to have a little wave in there. Kind of the same way on this door panel, if I remember right. Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit of wave there on the bottom, not too bad. There's your bottom of your doors. I say it's a very solid, solid old car. It's got good oil pressure sitting there running. It's got 50 pounds of oil pressure. It's 190 degrees, the temperature is. That's the tripod of aftermarket gauges down below there. Say so the door is open and shut nicely. Just a very good car. 
I say Kenyan classic cars we buy, sell, and trade muscle cars every day. Give us a call today, 563-452-2450. I'm gonna run this car out and I'll uh, I'll take it down the road for you just a little bit. We'll do just a little bit of a road test on it. Um, bear with me, I'm by myself today, so you're gonna have to uh, go for a ride with me only. There's your uh, turn signals on the fender there. They both light up and flash. The 69 Camaro over there, we're uh, just getting ready to picture that one up next. And there's a beautiful 72 Real SS Big Block Chevelle. Anybody has any interest in that car? You might get a little bit of wind noise here, everybody, because I do have the top still down. I'm not gonna drive this thing too far. I got... The sun is gonna be coming down pretty soon and I got a lot of work to do yet today, so. You can let go of the steering wheel. It's not all over the road. The steering is nice and tight. Um, just a really great muscle car. Um, it's ready to ready to enjoy this summer. I'm gonna spin around and go back to the, the shop. Sorry if I, like I say, I'm by myself right now. If anybody's looking for a job, I need several positions filled we're looking for a uh, a detailer we're looking for body guys we're looking for mechanics so if anybody's looking for a job and they always dreamed of working in the classic car field classic car industry we'd be sure glad to have you give us a call 563-452-2450 and uh, like I say our website uh, KenyanAuto.com that's K-I-N-I-O-N Auto.com to see more pictures of this car as well as the 75 to 100 other cars that we have in stock. These cars coming in, in and out every day so if you're interested in this car give us a call soon because this car just will not last. Hard to find a nice convertible like this that you can buy for in the 40s. Sounds good, runs good. good it's a real good car and squeal tires just a little bit there for you thanks for watching our videos we're gonna do a video of this beautiful Camaro next that car is a uh, LS2 powered six-speed manual. Thank you.